Hi, welcome to a quick preview of Dr. Afra Volume 2. Now, I haven't read this omnibus yet, just come through the letterbox, just been looking through it, looks great. Haven't read any of the stories, so I have no idea. Apparently, there's different characters from the previous one, so I'm just going to find out very shortly. But 568 pages, it's a bit smaller than Volume 1. So if you've got Volume 1, I'm just going to quickly show you Volume 1, which I absolutely loved. This is one of my favourites. This had so many different weird and wonderful stories in it. Really was amazing sort of like selection. And you can see on the back, it's got a really long list of different stories. And I guess it was in this and that. Always find it confusing after a while. Darth Vader, Star Wars, Dr. Aphra, and that's also called the same Star Wars and your different one, the Screaming Citadel, etc. But let's get back to this one. But this one was pretty impressive. I really up there in my favourite uh, omnibuses. Hopefully, this one will be as well. Anyway, let's just get removed this. But it's a lot. You can see it's a lot smaller. I don't have any pages. There's quite a few pages in that one, Volume One. This one's got 568 pages. Now, one slightly annoying thing is. They don't put on the back all the covers. Why? Why is it with Star Wars ones? And I haven't got many Star Wars. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe other Star Wars ones have got the covers. But this one doesn't. And you can see the details there, obviously. But one is it's got Dr. Aphra, Star Wars Dr. Aphra. It's again, very confusing. 2020, 1 to 25. And it's by Alyssa Wong, Marika Cresta, Robert Gill, and Ray Anthony Hyatt, and lots of others, of course. But it's got a lovely, I mean, that's just great, isn't it? That's very nice. Actually, I think that's pretty decent. In some ways, I always wish they wouldn't have any white on the cover, because the thing is, it always seems, the white area always gets grubby. But other than that, but there are a few issues with this. And I got this one, and maybe other people's ones will be slightly different. Now, I noticed when I first opened it, and maybe over time it will improve, but it was really tight, very tight in that sort of, there, Really can see that. I mean, really sort. Of, I mean, it never worries me. Never, you know, the gutter never really worries me in that sense. But it's obviously if you've got a panel and you want the artwork and it's spread over two pages, then it's slightly annoying. But in this case, it's uh, not too bad. But it's of course sometimes you get the text. It's like really crunched in. But I did notice the first ten or fifteen pages were pretty crunched in. Anyway, here's the selection of the characters you can see there. And let's just quickly go through, does it actually, I don't even know if it actually has got, it should have, yes, I was going to say the list all there. Now weirdly, it never puts the titles of all the content, so in this one, it's 1 to 25, which is really odd. I don't know why they chose 1 to 25, why they didn't do it to 1 to 35 to make a more substantial omnibus, but I guess they had to decide at some point to bring out the omnibus collection, but it's always a bit odd. In that respect. But still, go straight into the stories. Of course, you've got the covers, which are great, but it doesn't, of course, have the title at the top and all the various other stuff around, so you get the pure comic there. Actually, would be nice, would be the original pencil sketch as well as the inked and then the cover. That would be such a great inclusion, especially for the modern ones. They must realise, they must know that comic book fans would love to see the original comic book pages drawn and then, or maybe thumbnails, all the various ideas and things. Why not include those? Just seems to be, a, sort of, for me, a major oversight. But the artwork looks fine. I love the artwork. It's absolutely readable. It's a bit darker than I personally prefer. More, I love the 60s and 70s comics, and these ones are often a bit darker. But that's, you know, everyone's got particular taste. Too haunted. Now, I haven't read the stories. So I don't know what I'm looking forward to or not. I might read through it and think it wasn't very good. I hope that isn't the case. I say, I think the Omnibus One was brilliant. So I am got high expectations for this one. And it looks great. The artwork looks great and should be good. But still, just quickly run through a few of the pages there so you can see the artwork. And you can see, obviously, again there. I know people worry about that sort of thing. Which, of course, it's always worrying, especially when you spend... Now, the weird thing is... Well, not the weird thing. I noticed it said $75. This was $75. Yes, $75. The other one was $125. So, obviously, you can see it's slightly cheaper as well. But it's got a lot less pages, so that's the thing. 
it looks great. I, saying that, just flicking through, there doesn't appear to be any uh, Darth Vader or anything. Maybe he turns up. I don't know. He was in lots of the other stories, so I always enjoyed his appearances in those. But still, this looks great. And let's have a quick look at the back. I really looked... Oh, yes, there was... I noticed that there's a lot of... I went on the uh, GCD looking at all the various variants and gallery. I didn't see every single one of the variants in here for the covers. Now, it's got a few, but why not include all the variants? And maybe also the variants that never made it to... You know, it would have been nice to include those as well. But unfortunately, it just... I mean, nothing wrong with these. They look great. But I would love to see more of uh, every single variant included. I might be wrong. Maybe... They might be there, but it doesn't look it. Because if there's 24 stories in here, there seems to be about three covers for each of them. That would, you know, you're talking about 75 pages of covers. Why not include them all? It doesn't appear to be that many. Anyway, and you've got some obviously ink pages there. But again, I would love to see some pencil ones as well. But still, this looks good. I am waiting to read. I don't actually, I don't like that. The text is a bit sort of hard to read, but still, Dr. Afra, And you know what? When I got it, at first I thought, this is volume two, isn't it? Because <laughs> I couldn't actually just about make out volume two. You can just about see it. They yeah, are volume two. Very, very faint. So if you, and it does it actually annoyingly. I don't think it matches. Well, it does actually matches. <laughs> Again, that was pretty, really. You don't want to, you know, make it smaller. Why not make it so tiny that you can't see it? But again, I, I suppose it does match that. So, well, does it? No, it doesn't. But I guess it's because, of course, the size of the... <laughs> it's a bit thicker there. But still, this looks good. I am looking forward to read it. Just come out. I say 568 pages. Oh, there's the crazies on the back. You can see there, the details there. And also a little see details about it. And you can quickly read there about various things. Can you read it? Apparently, back, obviously, she's an archaeologist. I didn't mention that. I'm assuming that you know Dr. Afra a character. This book is always filled with humour that feels natural and fits the adventurous cape tone. And that's what I loved about Volume 1. So hopefully, full of character development. And it was something different from the usual Star Wars. I am not a mega Star Wars fan. In terms of, but I really thoroughly enjoyed the stories, the characters in this, and and the fun in it. It didn't really feel stilted sometimes, which sometimes for me Star Wars feels a bit stilted. It's got lots of characters that I really don't really relate to, and I love the humour of these. And um, so hopefully this will be just as good. So that's a quick run through. I will do a a proper review once I've read it. But I've got so many other books that I've got to go through. So. Anyway, hope you found this has been interesting. Will you be getting this book? Will you be picking it up? Have you picked up volume one? Did you love volume one? Did you read this? hate volume one? I don't know. So I don't know if it was a popular book or not. Obviously, it was popular enough that they brought out volume two. Also, do you like the artwork, all the various characters in it? Also, your favourites. Will there be a volume three? I hope so. Anyway, bye.